I was involved in a film shoot on a high-rise building and the door to the lift machinery room was open and there was an Otis pie plate selector standing inside the door. And there were people just watching it. They were figuring out for themselves without anybody explaining how it worked. The machine was doing the explaining. There was a moment when I realized that older technology was a better medium for teaching about technology generally because it was more tangible. What I saw amongst all the disparate projects that were saving up slices of technology was the scope for an overarching project that was greater than the sum of its parts. And as an offshoot of that, I started collecting on a large scale. And I felt that having gathered all these things together, now was the time to build an organisation that could help people connect with them and to actually make it a proper public-facing exhibition and museum. You will step into a world where things that you thought were a closed book are laid bare in front of you. You will see a wide range of ways in which electricity and electronics touch people's lives. One of the most exciting developments that is very new and still under negotiation is the possibility of using a new site as the venue for our first public exhibition. That has come within days of receiving my diagnosis of what is basically a terminal disease. 50% of people with my presentation survive for one year. There are no stats for survival to five years. It's unlikely that I will survive five years. And it would be foolish to predict anything really other than the simple conceptual realization that if I don't get this thing going pretty damn quick, I'm gonna lose it. We definitely foresee creating a museum and an online learning resource. And that is now completely encapsulated in the rather difficult and open-ended situation of not knowing what my life expectancy is. If I say I've got two years with a third of it taken up with reduced quality of life and a third of the remainder taken up with chemotherapy, that gives me about 250 good days. 250 days in which to accomplish all of this. Part of the ethos of MEET, of course, is to bring everything to life. I want to get you that close to experience the connection with technology that I have through my fingers, through my senses. I want to show you a mercury art rectifier. A big bowl with seething, bubbling, glowing emission going on. I want to put things in your hand that you can physically hold, feel, and that's meant holding the carbon pile springs together, pressing on the armature. If we don't keep in mind some of the roots of technology, there will be a point where computers are just too complex to understand. And so I see the value in a lot of the older technology as a learning tool, providing stepping stones to the technology of the future that even we can't foresee. And then once I've done all of that, there are still going to be strands of my life that need to be wrapped up, handed over, liquidated, but at the moment, I'm going the other way. My life is expanding. I'm pursuing my dream. So that really is going to be last knockings and it might be a bit untidy at the end. But for the moment, I have to keep looking up and save that to the last day on earth. <laughs>